Today, we're going to fix the dreaded access denied busy box error that many of you have been encountering over the last several months since Hex 2 has been released. This is a result of the program basically being a foreign object to your computer and general virus protection, firewall, security settings prevents it from running. So if you're actually amidst a flash process and it's trying to access a particular file and then your protection stops it, then it's stuck in memory and you're unable to complete the process. This pretty much renders your mini NES useless for the time being. I've done extensive testing with this. I've helped hundreds of people fix it over the last several months. I streamlined the process to try to make it as easy as I can for you guys to fix on your own. I'm going to show you how to do this. So right now I have an archive on my desktop. And I'm actually going to cut it to my C drive, the root. Because that's where you should basically run programs from anyway. And once that's completely there, I'll show you the next step. Okay, you're going to right click on it. You're going to notice the read only attribute. Now this is where things get a little bit tricky because on my computer it's fine, but the moment it moves to your computer, your windows, virus protection, firewall, etc. will not like some of these perimeters that were within this archive. So you're going to want to uncheck this, click apply, let it apply to this folder, subfolders and files, click OK. Then you see all the attributes applying to the files. And as soon as this is done, I'll show you the next step. I've done about 50 computers for people over the last few days alone. But I'd say I did several hundred over the last few months of this problem in general. There's digital signatures that pretty much come with programs like Microsoft, Adobe, etc. If your computer does not pick up these digital signatures and they're not verified, it'll pretty much render the program useless until you allow permissions. Okay, next up, and this won't apply to everybody, but it's not going to hurt to do it. You're going to go into your security tab, and you're going to click edit. And you're going to allow full control for each of the tab listings here. So authenticated users, system, administrator, user, apply. And it's going to set the security information. Like I said, this will not apply to everybody, but it'll solve a lot of problems for some. Hope you're still with me. I'm trying to make this as easy as possible. And I've tested this on pretty much every operating system from Vista to Windows 10. XP does not really have this problem because security is pretty much non-existent on XP. And Hashi 2 is actually designed specifically for XP to begin with. Now that that's done, you're going to click OK. So this is OK. You can actually use this for the most part on your computer. But there's one other thing you may have to check for. It depends on how your security set up. I'm going to right click on this one more time. You're going to go into the folder, sorry. You're going to go to Hashi executable itself, right click on it. You're going to look for this security, this file came from another computer and might be blocked to help protect this computer. You're going to unblock it. Now this is one of the things that will actually trigger your virus protection such as Norton, Windows Defender, McAfee and all that. But of course if you have virus protection you also have to allow permission to the executable. So don't forget to do that. If you do not allow permission for the executable within your virus protection, you have a chance of a dependency, a file that's within the Hashi directory, to be deleted. And you'll just have to replace it if that happens. 
So now that I allowed permissions, this directory is entirely okay to use. Now we have to get rid of the access denied busybox error once I did all this. I'm going to go back in here. In your main hashg directory, you're going to look for a temp folder. And if you have any other hashg archives or folders that you've used, you want to delete the temp folder as well. Now that's gone. Next thing you're going to do is go down to your start search menu. You type in percentage temp percentage. And this will pull up your temp files. It's a hidden folder that you will not be able to access otherwise unless you do uh, another trick which I'll show you next. You're going to go into this temp folder. You're going to just delete everything. And if you have a lot of files in there, you can just use your left shift, go all the way down, and select all of them. I'm going to delete them. And anything that's actually open here, you can just skip. Now that those are all gone, that clears your access to night error. It's gone. So I'm going to close this all out. Clear my recycle bin. You're officially free of the access denied busybox error and you can flash to your heart's content. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you, if you do have a problem getting to your temp folder, say you try doing a shortcut and you're not able to do it, I'll show you the other way to get to it. You're going to go into your folder options. You go to the view tab and where it says hidden files and folders you're going to show hidden files folders and drives click apply and then I'm going to go to my computer C drive users and I'm going to go to the current user that I'm using and this folder here app data which has a little opaque type appearance to it it's a hidden folder that you can't see unless you do the hidden file folder trick. Going in app data, going into local, going all the way down to temp, and I'm doing the same thing. I already deleted these files, but I'm going to do it again. Skip again. Now I'm going to show you something real quick, and then the video is done. Folder options. View. Don't show hidden file folders or drives. App data is gone. So like I said, you have the percentage and you have that. And once this is all said and done, you'll have to refresh the custom kernel. But otherwise, you're fixed. Hope this helps, and if you have any more problems, let me know.